Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Aspen games on the GBA. Aspen Final Round Golf 2002 is the US version of Konami's Golf Master Japan Golf Tour. The two games are the same in gameplay. The difference between the two is that they have different player names. The US version has real life US golfers and the Japanese version has real life Japanese golfers in the game. The games have a decent array of game modes, you get tournament, stroke, match play and training. In the single player tournament mode, you take one of the 14 pros through the game's 5 different tournaments in linear order. The stroke mode lets up to 4 players compete in an 18 hole game. The match play mode is played in 2, it's a 2 player affair. And what is nice about the game is that you can play the multiplayer part both on the same GBA, so as a local multiplayer or if you have a friend with a GBA and a copy of the same game you can play the game using the cable link. And I really like it that it has local multiplayer. The controls are easy to pick up just like the game in general it's easy to breeze through the game and I like the nice little details. Even if the game isn't one of the best looking GBA games it still has style that makes it look likeable. Aspen Great Outdoor Games is a very simplistic game and while the simplistic formula feels good, it gets boring really fast. The gameplay is ok, but it's the content or the depth or the execution that makes the game good for the first minutes you play and tiresome the more you play. The game has an arcade approach to the gameplay, but even so, the way the content is packed is unenjoyable, even if the fishing itself is good. Content wise you get 3 lakes. And it's annoying that you don't go with your boat on those lakes. No, after you select the lake, you select where you want to fish. Then you are prompted to the screen from where you can cast, but you have a pretty limited range of motion. Overall, if you get past this flaws, the game is okay. I mean, if you just want to sit back, relax and fish, the game can offer you that. It even has the usual tournament mode, like all fishing games. So yeah, it's up to you. Aspen X Games Skateboarding is an underwhelming game. You have two game modes, doing verts on a big ramp or doing verts in a skate park. In the first one, you have a big vert ramp and have to do tricks. And in the second one, you have a skate park where you can free roam and choose what vert you want to do tricks on. But this is no Tony Hawk. Controls are clunky and bad and the isometric camera doesn't help either. And the tricks you can perform are severely limited too. You can't do flip tricks like in Tony Hawk, grinds are limited too, you can mostly do only vert tricks and even those aren't as satisfying to pull off as in Tony Hawk. Content wise you get 9 levels, 8 skaters, 64 boards and the game cover says that the game has 12 music tracks. Overall, I don't recommend the game. The gameplay isn't that great. Aspen Winter X Games Snowboarding is a nice snowboarding game, if we judge it in context. It has 13 playable characters and 3 game modes, Super Pipe, Snowboarder X and Big Air. Unfortunately, this is all the game has to offer. It feels rather like a flash game than a full-fledged game. But if you're okay with this car's content, the gameplay is great. It feels really great to pull off tricks and participate in the three events the game has. And also the gameplay isn't only well executed, but it's also unique. Even if the game isn't that content rich, I still recommend you to try. Aspen International Winter Sports 2002 isn't a snowboarding game, nor a skiing game. It's a compilation of multiple winter sports games. It's a compilation of 10 distinct disciplines and it feels like a complete package. The controls feel great in each discipline and the game is fun to play. It's very good for some quick bursts of fun. I recommend you the game. And considering that it has 9 disciplines, including snowboarding and skiing, it's more complete than other games on this list and more fun to play. It's amazing. The fun factor is high with this one. It's a must have on a GBA and considering that the game has snowboarding superpipes, slalom and high jumps, 
it's super varied and it also has bobsledding, ice skating, the game has a lot to offer and the gameplay quality is very good too. As I said, it's a must have. Ok so this was the video, if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section, you will help me a lot. If you want you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord and if you want to see another video of mine just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.